Ahad Israfil was a bright kid, known for his ear-to-ear brain. -ear Full of life, he loved animals, sports, and learning. But hopes for a full life were shattered when a tragic accident left him with just half a brain. It didn't hit me at first just how bad it was. The tragic tale unfolded one night while Ahab was working at a local convenience store in his hometown of Dayton, Ohio. Ahad was caught in the line of fire. This 14-year-old boy with his whole life in front of him was on the floor, shot in the head. There was police already inside the building, a young man laying on the floor in a big pool of blood. It was the most blood loss I've ever seen. It still raises the hair on the back of my neck. Ahad's mother, Khadija Ahmad, remembers the terrible news that she received that night. The doctor tried to, in a nice way, let me know that he did not think Ahad was going to survive. The delicate surgery will take hours. The bullet has shattered the entire right side of Ahad's skull. Surgeons, if they can save him, will have to remove a major section of cranium. Once completed, all they can do is hope for the best. Amazingly, though the right hemisphere of his brain is gone, Ahad lives. But will he be able to function with half a brain? And how will this young man deal with such a horrible deformity? I was willing to fight, to do anything I had to do to protect him, because it was, um, it, it was a tremendous disfigurement. Plastic surgeon Dr. James Apesos is shocked. He has encountered difficult cases, but never anything like a high. This was nothing I thought I could fix. I had to actually change the operation on the operating table several times because it wasn't what we expected. Incredibly, over the next 14 years, Dr. Apesos performs numerous reconstructive surgeries on a high. Many attempts fail. At one point, due to complications, Ahad even slips into a coma. But despite it all, he never loses the will to live or his sense of humor. He really is coming for good. We got to the point where we would laugh about it. I used to kid him and tell him his head looked like a deflated basketball. Finally, through trial and error, Dr. Pesos develops an amazing solution. At last, the possibility of a somewhat normal appearance is within Ahad's reach. We created a silicone implant, uh, similar to a breast implant, except solid elastic, not jelly. In a groundbreaking procedure, the doctor begins the reconstruction of Ahad's skull. Like a puzzle, Ahad's skull is pieced together. At a press conference many years after the tragic shooting, Ahad was able to once again show off his famous ear-to-ear -ear 